Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Product Zero, and today I'm going to show you guys how to show your iPhone or iPod Touch the screen on your Mac computer. This will only work for Mac, not PC users, so sorry, PC users. This is only for Mac. And the requirements that you're going to need is that you're going to need to be on 3.0 firmware, and then you're going to need to have a jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone. So once you have those two requirements, open up Cydia. While Cydia is loading, guys, I'd like you to go please check out my giveaway for the Nano 3G cases from Spec. Enter in that enter on in that giveaway. Once Cydia is loaded, go to search and enter in S C R E E N S P L I T R. You'll see screen splitter pops up. So click on it. And you want to install this. For you, it will say install. Mine says modify because I've already installed it. But I want you to click that button and install it. Once you've installed screen splitter, exit out of Cydia. And now on your iPhone, touch your iPhone, you will see this new icon, screen splitter. So once you have that, you want to click on it and it will turn it on. As you can see, it's on. If I click it right now, it'll turn it off. You won't be able to see my screen, so I don't want to do that. So just click on it and it'll say on. And that's the first step. That's all you need to do with your iPod Touch. Now for your MacBook part. What you need to do is you need to go to the link in the description for Demo God. Once you go to that link, you want to scroll down. Scroll down. And you'll see Download Demo God. And once you click that, it'll start downloading it, and then and, and then you will get this little iPod. And so I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to exit out of this. I'll show you what happens when you first open it. You'll open it, and it says "Welcome to Demo God." And if you if you have it on, it'll detect your iPod. And once you see that, you just want to click on it. And on your iPod Touch or iPhone. It'll say remote view request, accept connection from, and then your IP address. And if you click reject, it will not allow it. Click accept. Once you click accept, sometimes it doesn't work the very first time, so you want to click it again. And you'll see, this is where it shows up. You want to click accept. And there you go. Now you can fully view your screen on your iPod Touch or iPhone on your on your Mac computer. So if this helps if this tutorial helped you guys, please rate five stars. And also I'm gonna make a I'm making a video on how to get five columns and five rows. As you can see I have five columns and five rows. And that's pretty much it guys. So if you like this tutorial, rate five stars if it helped you. Favorite this video, comment with how this helped you and all this. And I'll see you guys later, guys. Peace.